Hi everyone, it's naturally Mona Lisa. Today we will talk about five alternative ways to clean and sanitize your household without using bleach. So bleach is a very popular chemical nowadays that is used to clean and sanitize your kitchen, your bathroom, your surfaces, and your floor. Bleach is actually a general term that can mean many different chemicals. The active ingredient in bleach could be chlorine, sodium hypochlorite, calcium hypochlorite, and many other relating ingredients. Typically, you buy, you buy bleach in a bottle, or you can buy all-purpose cleaners and specific kitchen, bathroom, and floor cleaners with bleach in it. So if, you're, if you purchase um, Clorox, Lysol, Mr. Clean, and all of these name brand products, they typically have bleach in a bottle or bleach in pretty much all of their cleaners. There are two main concerns with bleach, and this is probably why you're watching this video in the first place. The first concern is that it's very harmful to you. So for me personally, I have eczema, asthma, and vocal cord dysfunction. So with eczema, I have contact eczema, and I cannot get bleach on my hands. It will really burn me. And then for asthma and vocal cord dysfunction, I cannot stand the smell and the fumes coming from bleach. Now I've had asthma since I was 10, but I wasn't diagnosed with vocal cord dysfunction until last year, and I probably had it just as long. If you have symptoms of being sensitive to smells, fragrances, perfumes, and whatnot, you may have vocal cord dysfunction. I took a breathing test last year. Um, I told them the list of different things that I can't stand the smell of, and it causes me an asthma attack, and I was diagnosed with vocal cord dysfunction. So anyways, because of these different conditions that I have, I have to avoid bleach. Then the second concern with bleach is that bleach is not safe for your children. Thousands and thousands of calls are made to the Poison Control Center every year in the United States because um, parents find their kids accidentally ingesting bleach. Do you really want to have that risk in your household? Do you really want to have a toxic and harmful chemical in your household that is readily available to your kid to drink? If you're a parent and you have kids, please reconsider this. Please think about how can you better um, improve the safety of your household. Before I dive into the five alternatives to using bleach, I should explain the differences between three relating terms, sanitizing, cleaning, and disinfecting. Most people use these terms interchangeably, but there are actually some differences between those terms. So let's start with sanitizing. Sanitizing is a more general term, and that means reducing the amount of germs on the surface. There's two ways to sanitize. You can either clean the surface or disinfect the surface. Hopefully you're following along so far. All right, so if you're cleaning the surface, you have a product, you spray it on the surface, and then you have a towel, cloth, or sponge, and you remove the germs off the surface. So cleaning is basically germ removal. The germ's not there anymore, you're removing it off the surface. Disinfecting, however, is different. You have a product, you spray the surface, and when you disinfect, you are killing the germs on the surface. Now the germs are still sitting there on the surface, but the product is supposed to kill the germs. So at the end, you would have dead germs sitting on the surface. The first alternative to bleach is soap and water. I'm pretty sure none of you are surprised when I said that. <laughs> so like I said earlier, soap and water remains one of the most effective ways to stop the spread of germs and to remove germs from your surfaces and floors. You can get your dish soap. I have the Ecos dish soap right here. I highly recommend. Pour it in a bottle, mix it with water. You can get a spray bottle like this and you can just use this to clean your household. You can also use castile soap. Castile soap is plant-based, typically olive oil-based. Uh, 
Dr. Brunner is a really good brand. I have their Castile Bar Soap. I use this to shower. I really, really like it. Uh, you can also get Dr. Brunner's Castile Soap in liquid form. So if that's better, just get the, the liquid soap, pour it in a bottle, mix it with water like this in a spray bottle and go around your house and clean your house. The second alternative to bleach is hydrogen peroxide. So many of you already have this product in your medicine cabinet or your first aid kit. Usually people use hydrogen peroxide to clean their wounds and cuts. However, you can also use this to disinfect your household too. I love this for the main reason that it's odorless. No smell whatsoever. That's already a win-win for me. I can't use bleach because of the toxic fumes from it, but I don't have to worry about it when I use hydrogen peroxide. There's no odor to this product. Now, should you drink this? Absolutely not. You shouldn't drink soap and water or any of the other alternatives that I present to you today anyways. But at least hydrogen peroxide is a much less toxic product than bleach. The third alternative to bleach is white vinegar. Many of you probably have this also in your household. You may have this in your kitchen or in your laundry room. So a lot of people like vinegar because it has so many different uses. It's like three in one, five in one, 10 in one. You can use it in the kitchen to wash your fruits and vegetables, disinfect your counters. You can use it in the laundry room to um, clean your laundry. There's so many different uses with white vinegar. Now, one thing about vinegar is that it is cheap. This big bottle of vinegar, you can get at any grocery store for $2, maybe less. I will say though, vinegar, I don't necessarily like the smell of vinegar. It smells really kind of soury and acidic, but the smell isn't that strong, I would say. It's a smell, but it's not as strong as bleach per se. The fourth alternative to bleach is using a plant-based non-toxic all-purpose cleaner. Now, before you purchase the all-purpose cleaner, make sure it doesn't have bleach, it doesn't have synthetic fragrances, and it doesn't have any harmful preservatives in them. I follow the toxic 20 list. This is a list of 20 ingredients uh, that are very harmful to you. I have it on the screen right now. I also have the toxic 20 list in the video description below. So go ahead and check out the list and make sure that when you purchase your products that you don't have any of these harmful ingredients in them. All right, there's three brands that I would like to recommend. The first one is Ecos. I really like this, really, really like this. This is probably the most affordable one out of the three that I recommend today. This is around, I would say three or $4. You can find this at Walmart. You can also find this on Amazon. I have their orange plus scent to it. Uh, this is certified under the Safer Choice program by the US EPA um, Safer Product Standards. Uh, and it's a plant-based and non-toxic, so I really like it. Then the other one, the next one, is Attitude. I have their all-purpose cleaner and their bathroom cleaner. This is a Canadian company, so you're probably gonna see a lot of French labels and English labels on the, on the bottles. So I really like it because it's vegan, cruelty-free, Ecoloco and EWG verified. I really like that. Uh, and it smells really good. So this is the citrus zest scent, citrus zest scent. Um, and uh, it does a really good job cleaning. So you can check out their all-purpose cleaner and their bathroom cleaner. Finally, we have Sapadella. So this is a small company. A lot of you may not have heard of this. I just by chance saw their commercial on Facebook and decided to check them out and turned out to be a pretty good product. So I have their countertop cleaner and I have their all purpose cleaner in the concentrate. So you can purchase the countertop cleaner or you can just readily spray on any countertops or you can get this heavier duty all purpose cleaner. What you need to do is you need to dilute this. I think it's two to four tablespoons of this diluted in a gallon of water and can use this to clean your surfaces and your floors. The last alternative to bleach is making your own cleaner. 
If you go to Google and search for homemade cleaner, DIY cleaner, or how to make your own all-purpose cleaner, you will see a lot of recipes in the search results on how to make your own cleaner at home. So typically, you would add white vinegar, baking soda, this soap, maybe a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Some people like lemons and limes and add that to it to have a citrusy scent to it. Some people might add essential oils into their DIY clean to add some fragrance to it. I do have two cautions to you. Number one, be careful mixing baking soda and vinegar together because if you mix them together and seal them in a closed container, it can, the resulting mixture can explode. So be very careful mixing these two things together. I strongly suggest that you just make a DIY cleaner with just one or the other and not both. And also, if you decide to add rubbing alcohol in your DIY cleaner, be very careful. Alcohol can be very irritating to some people, like me, for example. Um, I, I can use hand sanitizer, but not too often, maybe once or twice here and there because alcohol can be quite irritating to my hands. So for all of you out there, if you decide to add alcohol to a cleaner, just be a little careful. Don't add too much to it. Um, follow the recipes uh, that you see on Google and try different recipes on there to find out which one works for you and which one doesn't work for you. So there you have it. Those are five alternative ways of cleaning and disinfecting your house without using bleach. I hope this is a helpful video for you and I hope I was able to raise awareness of the dangers of bleach and to offer alternative, safer ways of cleaning and disinfecting your house. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified when I publish a video here. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.